Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. So in today's video, we are going to talk about drag and drops using robot framework. So in our last video, we talked about various mouse actions such as double click and right click action using robot framework. So today in this video, we are going to talk about drag and drop using robot framework. So let's begin. Okay, so my PyCharm is open here right now. Let me tell you which site we are going to use. So we are going to use this site automation test practice here. We are going to use this section drag and drop section. So what we are going to use is we will try dragging these images onto this trash bin like this using robot framework. So let's try that. First, we are going to try by dropping the images onto the trash folder. So I'll just refresh this site so that everything resets. Now we are good. Let's just copy the URL so that we could write the URL onto our open browser command. I'll minimize it. And now on my PyCharm, I'm going to create a new robot file. So let's name this robot file as drag and drop dot robot. And here if I press enter, this will create my robot file. So first of all, here I'm going to create the sections. So first I'm going to create the setting section. Inside my settings section, we are going to provide the library. So library and after that, we are going to specify the library, which is Selenium library. And after that, I'm going to create my next section, which is the test cases section. So inside my test case section, let's give this test case a name as let's suppose drag and drop and inside our drag and drops name indentation. Let's begin writing our test case. So first of all, I need to open the browser and need to open that test automation website onto it. So there is one keyword called open browser. And here we are going to provide the URL for that, which we copied. So I have pasted the URL here, which we copied, and this will be open onto our Chrome browser. I'll just give a little bit more space to make sure it runs. Now let's write maximize browser. So this will maximize the browser window. And after that, now let's say we want to drop this image, Mr. John onto this trash bin. So let's do that real quick. I'll just go back here. I'm going to right click onto this image and I'm going to copy the relative X path for this image. And then I'm going to go back to my PyCharm here and there is one simple command called drag and drop. So this is how you can just simply drag and drop by using this simple command drag and drop. And here we are going to write the X path which we copied. So first, we are going to write the target image that we want to pick up. And then after writing that X path, we are going to give some space and then we are going to write the X path for that bin that we want to drop that image onto. So let's write, let's say X path. And here I'm going to just space the X path for this images X path. And then I'm going to just copy the trash bins X path. So I'm going to go to my selector and then copying the X path. I'm going, just going to give some space here and then I'm going to write X path and here I'm going to paste the X path. So what this will do is this will open the browser. It will go onto this URL. This URL will be open onto the Chrome browser. Once it is open, it will maximize the browser window and then it will start dragging and dropping that image from this command. So this image will be picked up and this image will be put onto this trash bin. So let's try running it. So to run it, I'm going to write a robot and then automation as usual, my directory name. And after that, my name of my file. So drag and drop dot robot is the name of my file. And if I press enter, this will start executing our code. It will open the browser. It will maximize once it is loaded. And after that, it will drag and drop that Mr. John's image onto that trash bin. So as you can see here, it dropped Mr. John's image onto the trash folder. Now, so this is how you can use drag and drop feature using robot framework. Let's try another one. So let's say we want to put this Mary image as well onto this trash folder. So let's quickly do it. I'm going to right click onto this 
and uh, here I am going to inspect it. So right now my selector hub is not present because I am using the test window. So Chrome is being controlled by test automation. I am just going to close this and I am just going to back we'll go back onto my main browser and here I am going to just copy the relative X path and then I am going to again write here drag and drop and then I am going to give the X path for Mary's image and after giving some space I am just going to copy the same X path the same trash bins X path and I am just going to paste it here now if I try running it again you will be able to see it will open the browser it will maximize the browser window and after that it will drag and drop both the images onto the trash bin so as you can see it dragged and dropped onto the trash bin both the images are onto the trash bin now so this is how you can use the drag and drop feature using robot framework so here this is our code so we open the browser we open this url onto our browser and then it open onto our chrome it maximize the browser once it's loaded and then we use drag and drop command here we pasted our first image that we want to target which we want to pick up and this is the xpath for the destination folder which we want that image to be dropped onto and then again we repeated the same step for the second image as well we copied the images xpath and then we dropped onto the trash bin so this is how you can use the drag and drop feature using robot framework and this is our code so this is all about this video guys thanks for watching hope you like the video and if you like it then tell us in the comment section below if you have any doubts then post them in the comment section i will definitely try to clear those doubts also like share and subscribe to our channel coders arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post our new video thank you happy learning